Konnichiwa, Minasan. Hello, everyone. This is Blackboard 7, otherwise known around here as Shadow, and welcome back to Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Today is August 4, 2012, day 9 of the Games of the 30th Olympiad. Once again, two events are set today, but this time, both of them are dream events. Let's proceed to the first event of the day, Dream Discus. I wait for the last two days, Shadow returns to action as I will play as him once again. The goal of Dream Discus is to earn the most points against three other riders by collecting rings and destroying Eggman's robots along the way while riding a giant discus. There are also obstacles to make circumstances slightly tricky. Holding the Wii Remote sideways, move with the control pad and boost to push the other riders out of the way and destroy the robots by pressing holding and releasing the 2 button. Everything explained, let's head to Windy Valley now for this unique event. Dr. Eggman, Amy, and Waluigi will also compete in this quick four-way showdown. Let's head down to the starting point to meet our competitors. The four competitors ready, they swing their giant discs, toss them in the air, and off they go in this one-of-a-kind event held in Windy Valley. What looks like a race to the finish is actually a race to earn the most points by collecting rings and defeating enemies along the way. Shadow is off to a great start as he now has 21 points. The wind directs our riders around the valley as they approach a small arch and uh, Shadow unfortunately crashes through the arch and is temporarily out of the picture following several bombs through his riders but he's now back now. So caught up and maintaining the lead, followed by Amy in second and Dr. Eggman in third, while Luigi is still in last place. The route becomes a little tricky as Dr. Eggman's spinning robots await to mess the riders, and the doctor himself is no exception. Making another turn around the valley, more pillars lie ahead, and Amy and Waluigi are one of its victims. As I said earlier, points are earned not only by collecting rings and ring capsules, which are both worth 5 points, but also by destroying Eggman's robots by boosting into them as you probably saw a few times earlier. Doing that also gives 5 points. Now as Shadow widens his lead, following that corner, another squad of robots immediately followed by 2 pillars lie ahead for our riders. And apparently that was already messy as only Waluigi managed to maneuver around them. And everyone else crashes but are now back in action. Windy Valley, as some of you might recognize, is from Sonic Adventure. In that game, Sonic and Tails track a Chaos Emerald where, where here before it's found by Dr. Amen and Chaos. Now, as our riders continue to go around the valley, there's that, that recognizable tornado which will carry them to the end point. So this is the final opportunity to catch up with points and attain the best position possible for all of the riders who land on the target. Landing on the center gives 50 points and everything else outside gives less. Now following that scope for the center, Amy and Eggman land on the 10, Shadow and lands on the 30, and Waluigi lands on the 40, pushing him up to second place. Shadow finishes first with the final score of 166 points, and I break my previous record of 157 points. So here are the final standings. Waluigi managed to finish second despite a slow start, Amy finished third, and Dr. Eggman finished medal-less. Let's go to top three as they are rewarded their medals. Third medal, Amy! Second medal, Waluigi! And that ends Dream Discus. One Dream Event done and one Dream Event to go, so let's proceed and see what's next on schedule. So the final event for today is Dream Uneven Parallel Bars, so let's get to that right now. I will play as the ultimate life form again for this event. So the objective of this event is to earn the most points by swinging on bars. With the rear remote held sideways, move with the control pad, hold 2 to grab a bar and release 2 to release bar and jump, 
and swing the rear remote downward while grabbing a bar to swing. So let's proceed to the event now as I'll explain and show more about this event later. Grand Metropolis is the setting for this event. Donkey Kong, Knuckles, and Luigi are Shadow's rivals this time around. So let's go to the starting point to meet our competitors. So all the competitors are carried up to the bars by Omo Chao and the competition begins. Once again, the goal is to get the most points by swinging on the bars. There are two kinds of bars, green ones and pink ones. So as Knuckles gets the lead and crap, and before I even continue, Shadow is off to a bad start as he fails to grip onto a bar and I fall back again. What in the world am I doing? <laughs> So he returns to the action once more, gripping onto Knuckles, who is gripping onto the pink bar. And as I was saying, there are two kinds of bars. For each swing, the green bars give one point, and the pink bars give two. And as you have probably seen, after several swings on the same bar, the bar will turn black, and you will no longer earn points for swinging. So as I try to concentrate here and try to recover lost ground as Knuckles takes the lead with 75 points, So trying to get focused here as get as many points as possible. So Shadow tries to grip on Donkey Kong, but he falls down again. I guess this just isn't my time. So anyway, as you probably saw, when multiple players swing on the same bar, the points earned per swing is multiplied by the number of players involved, and they are shared among the players. So when all four players swing on the pink bar, as you saw briefly, earlier all players earn eight points two per swing on the pink bar times four for four players which equals eight so looking at the current standings now i managed to get 118 as shadow is now second knuckles falls down from first to last and luigi's at the top now with 147 points and of course not to mention donkey kong who is now in third with 128 so the strategy here is to either go solo and quickly earn points or to steal points with the other players by swinging with the other players on the same bar and Luigi hops onto Shadow to protect his lead and Shadow falls down, rescued by Omo Chao. So the ending looks like it's going to be a very close as all the competitors are close to the end point. Now Ferris, of, a Ferris wheel of pink bars appear as Shadow tries to overtake Luigi and he does so. As the point as he tries to widen his lead. However, Luigi grabs onto Donkey Kong and he retains reclaims his lead. And he and uh, as I try to focus and uh, get a chance at Shadow, we have 10 seconds now as as the landing pad flies in. Luigi and Donkey Kong decide to finish early and they earn an extra 10 points for landing. Shadow Knuckles also made it despite still swinging late and the late arrivals aren't in vain as Shadow wins the event. So despite a rough start, <laughs> Shadow finishes the event with 271 points and he wins another first medal. So here are the final results of this event. Luigi's decision to finish early but safely puts him short of the first medal. Donkey Kong will, win, will take the third medal. And despite a good start, Knuckles falls from first to last. Let's return to Grand Metropolis to see the top three once more. Third medal, Donkey Kong! <laughs> Second medal, Luigi! Oh, he's not that bad. So after, so after several falls by me trying to focus on what I'm trying to say here, that was a timely comeback as Shadow finishes with the first medal and Luigi in second. Anyway, that ends the ninth day. Thank you all who watched and enjoyed this presentation. Please like this video and subscribe for more. Getting close with world-class action from athletes around the world in one of the ultimate sports venues, the 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London. This is Black for 7, otherwise known around here as Shadow. Until tomorrow, 
Sayonara.